Cubes for Finance here, and today I'm just going to be making a video about this new emu emulator that I found called Project 64. Um, what it does, it just plays Nintendo 64 ROMs, and I've got about five here, and I'll give you the link to a website to download some. Um, I haven't made a couple of videos in a while because, um, because like I've been giving my computer a bit of a makeover, as you can see. I got Zune theme, new background, Rocket Dock, and um, I've had ear infection recently in both my ears. So yeah, I haven't had any time to make any videos. So I'm just going to show you how to get Project 64 1.6, which is the one that I have. So what you want to do is go to your internet browser, which mine is Mozilla Firefox, and you want to go to Google and type in project 64 download type in project 64 download and click on the first link so then what you want to do is just save the file and run it and install project 64 and then you'll have it installed on your computer um, you can make a shortcut to your desktop or I think it makes a shortcut to your desktop automatically and the website to get emulations from um, ROMs from is the www.theoldcomputer.com and what this is, this is a site with loads of ROMs for like if you get any other emulators like emulator for Nintendo NES or whatever so what you do you click on Nintendo 64 add Yeah, if that comes up, just refresh it, and then you like have this page about Nintendo 64, and then you want to go down, and you, you can click click on USA because that's the one with the most ROMs. Skip the other bit. And the ROMs have no viruses or anything, so we've got tons of ROMs here. So like we've got Mario Kart 64, Mario Party 2, Mortal Kombat 4, and some other ones. We got Resident Evil 2 there, uh, Super Smash Bros there, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, Master Quest, and the original Ocarina of Time is on here somewhere. Um, some wrestling games. Uh yes, they do have uh Super Mario 64. Yep, there. They have South Park games, stuff like that. So what I do, I just download the ROMs, keep them in the Win the WinRAR file, and just make a folder on your desktop called N64 ROMs. That's what I just did. And I just put all my ROMs in there, and I'll show you how to like run a ROM. You just open up Project 64, go to File, Open ROM, go to where all your ROMs are. And just like click on a ROM, I'm going to do Super Mario 64. The controls are a bit dodgy, but you will get you, you should get used to them. <coughs> I'm just going to play a bit of Mario 64 to show you it. So the game's working perfectly, really. It's a bit laggy whilst I record it, but normally none of the games are laggy or anything. So. Yeah. Oh, I've got 11 stars already and I'm trying to complete the game. But I'm trying to complete the other games as well, so. Um, I'll just show you 11 bomb. Or bomb land. Close up. If you want to put this in full screen, you just press S, S, E, A, E, S, C, key. Thing. Yeah, so. No lag or anything really. It's quite a good game. If you do download this ROM or whatever, you should just like get Super Mario 64 because it's quite good. I'd say it's the best of the ROMs on that website. Apart from Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, obviously. So, let's just. And fly. Uh, to fly, you just need to jump. 
three times, and on the third time we'll start flying. So yeah, it's quite good. My favourite part about this game is probably the flying. So yeah, I kind of landed accidentally. And again. So, thanks for watching, subscribe, comment and rate, and my phone's ringing, and I'll see you in my next video.